JTAC has done for the past couple years, and you know, the Grasper does, is a lot of what we do kind of goes unnoticed by the student population today, and not, I won't tell you so much by Tarleton, but like everything we do from the Grasper to JTAC to the organizational affairs we have, I feel like some of that really isn't like, I wouldn't say appreciated, but like some of it just kind of, we do a lot of it. It really feels nice to receive awards and recognition for the work we do. It definitely feels like a privilege. I never thought that I would be part of people who are put up on the walls of the library. Um, it feels really good. It's nice to see, you know, student publications being recognized for the work that we're doing on campus. And this past year was our centennial edition, so it's nice that it's around the same time we're celebrating that, and now we have this honor. It's nice. And to be honest, this year, it's pretty amazing. Um, it feels great to be a part of Charleston's history to where this is up for years and years to come. Um, it just gives me a great sense of like pride in my university to see that we're being recognized for what we're doing on campus. When I was a kid, I was actually homeschooled, so I really didn't get out much. I spent a lot of time reading, so reading was the way that I was able to get out of the house. I was able to open up that book, like Harry Potter or um, The Wheel of Time, and just to take me to a completely different place that I'd never had the chance to visit. Reading has definitely been a very large part of my life. Um, I'm a bilingual student, and I started out knowing Spanish, and reading was really what made me advance more in the English language and increased my vocabulary, and it just increased my thirst for knowledge. Oh, reading as a kid was my favorite thing to do. Anytime we would go to family gatherings, people would be like, oh, where's Victoria? She's reading a book. So that was kind of my way to get away. Even now, if I'm too stressed out or something, I go curl up in a corner with a book. Reading is a huge part of my life. Um, well, obviously, being the editor of the newspaper, I'm very familiar with words. But um, I began reading at three years old. If reading's always been like a good escape for me and just the power of words and how they impact people and just and then how printed media is just like possibly the greatest thing invented <laughs> in my opinion. I would say my favorite part about being student publications is the opportunity it provides me to go out and meet people on campus. Um, I'm a very social person. I like going out and talking to people, meeting people, and expanding my social circle. And through JTAC, I've been able to go out and interview, you know, doctors at the campus, like the administration. I've been able to go interview students who I wouldn't have met before. I, you know, been able to interview a couple of who through the job. My favorite part about being a part of student publications is knowing that the work that my staff and I do and everything that we create is going to be here for generations to come. Uh, my favorite part about being a student publications is just being, uh, like, preserving, like, school history and being what people turn to whenever they're looking for news and for just the overall atmosphere of the school to where um, like so we are, are a piece of history. Getting paid to do what I love is obviously a good thing but I was really involved in yearbook and stuff in high school and that's what I do now with student publications and uh, my career path I want to be a journalism teacher so it's just kind of another stepping stone into that career field and I like how we're just one big family and anytime you need anything, you know, you know where to go.